So that was part of the quest, it wasn't an event then I guess. Or I don't know. At market may be enough. What? The stringer of pirates. No, I'm. I'll stay here to contain All right. these uh, Use the spirit shrine and bring the return to Pridman. I think the campfires look different too. It was just uh, uh, some uh, hay and uh, yeah, a campfire next to it. Looks now to be a little bit better. I need to go this way.
Yeah, I think the wrong way. See, when we get 15, we get that pig faction, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can feel the party coming on all day. Oh, we got wine and honey cakes. It's gonna be a feast. So I only think you can reach 25, and then that will be it. But leveling goes pretty fast, and uh, we are not doing side quests, we are not really boosting, so it's okay, it's good. But yeah, it was usually fast up to 25, from what I remember, depends on how you were playing actually. If you were doing uh, life skilling, what I would call, um, uh, yeah, without trade skilling, then uh, you would take a bit longer, I guess. Uh, see here, we are going inside here, right? And we are talking to um, you. There we go. We have awaited this day for centuries, and our faith is fulfilled! Uh, hey, hey, where did, where did that go? Oh, that's pretty far away. It's a long run. For the air, bring flowers fair. Let's see, weapons two-handed. We have iron great swords at a uh, fair price, actually. Uh, do we have any good ones? Oh, we can see the stats too. Oh god, that was not the thing like uh, last time. Can we filter? Uh, no, only by this. Okay, not even by that. Uh, we can filter by price. Oh yeah, one for five thousand. Easy. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, Dex uh, doesn't really matter, does it? I suppose. Strength 8. Uh, can we buy even some light armor, perhaps? Yeah, the, yeah. Armor is a bit harder. There are so many different variations on uh, uh, armors in this game, really. It's very hard to find that armor that really ticks all the boxes you want. And of course, we are on public tests, so... 
is a little bit harder. <laughs> Speaking of which, I mean, I can still uh, grab some armor here, like... Uh, that's one. If I would go full here, from constitution, strength... Constitution... Dexterity... Strength... No, uh, no... Yeah, the shield doesn't really give you a stat unless you're running with the uh, sword and shield. So, right now it's pretty useless for us. Uh, mana again. Uh, health. All of that is pretty useless. Mm, no. See, now, now we are running without leggings, but we are running... The leggings does, does only provide armor. Uh, but without the leggings, we are now in a light armor build. And uh, light armor uh, gives us more base damage by 10%. So, plus we can uh, dodge roll. So yeah, this is, uh, this is very... Uh, yeah. Looking good. I think it's too early to say exactly uh, my opinion about the great sword. It's a lot of feelings just to have a, have a great sword finally uh, that will speak. But um, the, the little I can say, it, it's, it's okay. It's okay, sure. It's um, easier to give a statement when you know how it feels on like level like one out now, level one to four, fourteen. And uh, one when you are like around level 25 and have a proper build gear and uh, a setup for it. So you can actually say how it feels with the correct stats and everything. And some perks. So, otherwise it will be a very linear. Ah, uh, but we were a lot in this area. We're killing these uh, lynxes. There's a cave over there. Uh, we need to...
Well, this area sort of looks the same. I mean, they should have revamped the entire area as far as I know, so... I mean, all of the quests so far are different, which is good because... The questing was uh, not that not that great. But I'm more worried about what happened when you get over to Windsport, for example, or Everfall. I think they actually revamped Everfall as well. I'm not sure about Windsport, though. Yeah, that's pretty useless. I see another note over there. These altars in Caladan seem to have some sort of power over the lost. Power might be the wrong. Definitely some no, two quests here. I think this is good. They are placing the like assigned quest givers at this location it was necessary otherwise there were so everyone was inside the town so you had to go running back and forth and it, it just sucked all in general really and uh, let's go here for the true heir and the restoration of Pridewind's glory we will find a way to unite behind the royal bloodline once again. Hmm. Not very... Actually, is this light? Can I use it? No. They were medium. Oh, well. We are running without pants. Potion. We need to get up here, so. Assuming this is the way.
There must be some kind of reward, right? Didn't give you anything. No reward at all. Uh, thrust damage, I think, was for the corrupted, if I'm not mistaken. Slash damage? I have really no idea. Yeah, this looks completely different now. Again, I would urge you to consider this course of action. My fellow Oh, my God. 
Um. Collect seals. Uh, let's see here. Let's kill this one. Let's go for that. So now we have Max at Onslaught uh, Shane. See how it will be. I don't have a gem on this one. No, I don't, sadly. Otherwise, it would be very nice. Uh, then you can have equipped uh, a gem that is used uh, for the enemies like this. I think this would consider be undead, but I'm not sure. Uh, we're looking for something named around here. Um, could it be up here somewhere? There, uh, all right, all right. So it's that way. So. Uh, That's the one we need. Uh, 
As we're gonna have a server restart soon. Well, soon it's uh, uh, around 40 minutes. There we go. Crane Knight 10 It's nothing here. Look how they fall in line when they realize something greater than them is at their doorstep. It will be the same with corruption. Where do we need to go? I don't see. I mean, it's not down there. That skill progression quest. No, that. Nah, I don't think that's that. There's still a wall, and it's uh, west of here. Is it inside the town, perhaps? I have no idea. Two hundred and fifth. Ah, uh, yeah. She's now. Oh, I see. Never mind. I was looking at something completely different.
strange place. There's almost nothing over there. Or maybe maybe the sign bridges will evolve that area. Now we're heading down to um Uh, to the elite area. But yeah, we, I have uh, given this game my uh, highest priority once it ge goes uh, live with this patch, including the new area. We're going to be re-rolling uh, just to see how the new uh, player experience is. Oh yeah, we can uh, cut through here. Is this a road? It is not a road. It's not even a path. Surely you cannot toss it into uh, the elite area? Unless they removed it. Nah, I hope not. It was a great area. Yeah, this area was pretty useless. I think it was not a single quest, or maybe like one or two. And then you had the elite area.
Oh, we're just spitting up. Well, where do we find... Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, we need to use it as well. There we go. And the dead must go. Hmm. That was almost... Uh, I almost forgot that we cannot swim. No. 
Yeah, we need to go deep inside here. Yeah, this one is all the way in. Oh yeah, the ghosts, I've forgotten them. It should be fine. Just rubbish stuff it gave.
How are we done in here? I got around uh, 17 minutes tops before the server gets down. It's very dark in here. Might have to turn up the contrast a little bit. But then again, I don't like it to be too bright. It removes the entire feel of being in a, well, slightly lit cave. Well, we could have used fast travel too. <laughs> That is not a bad rapier, actually. If you'll be using Thunderbleed. Shame I cannot sell it. Eh, uh, all of this is rubbish pretty much. Is it S you need to hold? Is it C? You need to hold C.
but it has more strength, but I don't want power shot. Dexterity and strength, uh, it would be the same apart from, apart from being heavy. No, um, I don't want any of that. Constitution, uh, strength, I don't know. It feels, um, it is medium, so I'm gonna be on medium if I, if I go for that. And sure, I, I can go medium armor. But yeah, I'm gonna lose, uh, what is it, five points. Five points in damage, not sure exactly how much damage that is. Once I knew, but now I don't. One thing we can do is this. Alright. Let's see. Uh, add a follow-up attack that deals 140% weapon damage by activating the skill again or using a light attack. Uh, the first attack applies disease, which reduces the healing. Okay. I guess that's pretty good. Um, oh, the follow-up follow, follow attack strikes all foes within a 3 meter radius. Not bad. I guess that's pretty good. Um, oh yeah, we do rend as well. I think it's pretty good um, in PvP, maybe. If I would mix and match... Uh, not sure if I even can do that, if, unless I want this one. The Defiance Tree, we're gonna check that too. But yeah, I'm not sure about this skill. It's okay, but I don't know. If it would break block, it would be amazing. Uh, this one is okay, I suppose. Uh, and power is pretty good. Uh, let's see. In Onslaught Stance, Relentless, Rush applies Root to target. It is for one second. Uh, reduce ability cooldown by 50% when you kill a foe. Does that mean by any skill or... Or uh, what? Uh, grit is nice. And the cross execution is pretty decent too. Yeah, I mean, this is good, but it's only when foes are above uh, above 90. So, yeah. And I don't have any, like... I don't have, like, an execution, uh, execution skill. So, um... I cannot uh, use that 20% to, like, a very hard-hitting ability. Uh, because if I would use it with this, I would most likely lose this one after the first hit. So, I would do like what, 130% damage? 130% uh, damage. Instead. If that's how you can cal calculate it. I don't think you can. Uh, aggressive shift. Uh, I'm thinking this one. Uh, but this one is nice. I can abuse that. The thing is with this one is I don't know what this do. I believe this one gives you empower. When you use the ability, I hope. 
And this one will uh, trigger the cooldown, which would mean it's 10 seconds. Uh, that will apply, but uh, this one is really interesting, especially if you combine these two. But that, mean, that means I need to roll with that. That will regen 5 stamina and 5% belt health, base health per 5 seconds. Uh, per second for 5 seconds. So it's like 1% per second then, I guess? It cannot be 25. That would be extremely strong. Let's roll with that. Uh, if I... I need one, two, three, four. I need four points. That's 11 in order to get the, the capstone. Uh, if I would speculate how I would go from here uh, with what I know now, I will go for this one. Relentless uh, refresh. Uh, that leaves me three points more. I would then uh, probably go for aggressive shift. Maybe. I'm, I'm not uh, solid on that yet. Uh, I would definitely go for heavy blade. Because 15% in armor penetration is pretty decent. I would not I would not use haste. I would use critical combat. And um, uh, I would not use that one. But I would use keen exposure. How many is that? Is one, two, uh, three, and four. That's five. I just mentioned five. Okay, fair enough. Twelve. That's twelve leaves. Uh, Eight more points that I can spend on, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, well, six, and uh, uh, seven. So, yeah, I would probably roll with seven points more than maybe in this tree. Uh, wait, seven, eight. Damn it, see, you just keep getting away because you need one for this one too, I believe. One, well, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven points. So we on fourteen. That means you will have um, uh, you will have six more points. You can invest in defiance. A uh, hitting with the final attack of the great sword chain reduces the duration of debuffs on you. If it if you're hit while well, at full health, reduce the damage taken by 20% and gain 20% fortify for 3 seconds. A uh, 20, uh, 20 second cooldown. I might go for Calamity Counter. Maybe this one. I don't know really. That's pretty good, actually. But I said six. So we have six points to invest here. So uh, uh, we need one of these. I don't really like any of them. But uh, we do need an ability. But maybe this one. I don't like it that much. But perhaps I don't like the ability that much. So um, I think the ability, maybe this is better. So one, two... Uh, But that does give a bleed, actually. In Onslaught, since the counter-attack gains an additional 25% hit... Oh! So, wait, what, wait, what? If you use this and you have Onslaught, uh, you gain 20... You gain 50% critical hit chance. That's pretty good, I say. Uh, Blank of two seconds causes you to enter Defiant Stance. We're gonna be disconnected before this is done. Uh, short heavy attacks, grit, inflict bleeding. That uh, I would like that. It can stack five times. Uh, base damage is increased by three percent uh, for each great sword buff on you. That's nice. 
Uh, I think I'm the next attack. Uh, the next attack taken, okay. Blocking range attacks. Huh. Yeah, we cannot go down this. It's too deep, right? Yeah, I don't know. I need to um, have a little bit more time checking this and preferably have the skill tree. It might already be a skill tree on the internet for this. We'll see. But th this is how I will roll now. And, um, and uh, yeah, now we're going to get disconnected. Defenders resolve. Uh, but yeah, we will uh, play a little bit more, but we're going to wait for the server to come up. And uh, then we'll see. We, we still need to check everything in uh, the Defiance tree. So, uh, yeah. But I think it's okay. I mean, it's always the interest when you weapon. Usually, unfortunately, you... Uh, at least with the great sword and such, you sort of end up using the exact same thing. And everyone else is as well. Almost. But it's most about how you combine the perks along with stab uh, optimization. Uh, stuff like that. Maybe some uh, combination with uh, stones as well. If you do that, uh, then you can find some very interesting build variation. It's like the guy I saw earlier. I'm not sure which video that is in. We have a lot of videos of it. Uh, when uh, he was tanking uh, uh, depths, and he was so he was uh, he got so little depths really. On uh, he wasn't even like max level, I believe. But he did it really, really nice. He was healing himself, and uh, then he was just he was basically a tank healer. But he, he was really nice. We only had to swap tank. I became tank on final boss. Uh, when we're dying too much. But uh, apart from that, it was really amazing to watch. So, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna wait for the server to come back online. So, um, I will uh, be away uh, for, uh, I don't know how long. I will be up as soon as it's up. So, um, I'm just gonna go on the uh, break screen. And uh, I'll see you all as soon as the server's up. And then we'll check for the Defiance tree. And see what we can find. I also see if I can find a, um, a, a skill tree planner on the internet. It might be a bit too early, but it, it might be possible that we have one. So, um, if we have one, then I can maybe do some theory crafting with that. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Perfect opportunity to grab some drink. Go to the Alright, there we go. Uh, let me see. Let's do that. And, uh, there. Okay, so I did uh, check through a little bit. We're gonna go through uh, the second tree here. Uh, that will be, um, uh, Great Sword and Defiance. Uh, we only checked a few, a little bit of these. I don't think this one is that great. I mean, sure, it is really nice if you do get debuffs on you, and you, and you might. But if I'm gonna focus on damage, I wouldn't really go for this. Uh, I would go for this one, and I would go for uh, this one. This one basically does base damage decrease by 3% for each great sword buff on you. Uh, so max 4 buffs, that will be 12% um, damage increase flat out. Uh, charge have attack have grit and inflicts bleeding for uh, six seconds dealing five percent weapon damage every second and it stacks to five i believe that is um the damage i don't think the time stacks if it's if that stacks that's kind of strong that's 30 seconds uh with 25 percent 
weapon damage, right? Yeah, I think it's more 25% weapon damage every second for 6 seconds. Uh, I would not really go for this. I will go for guarded shift in order to trigger the find stance. And then I would only go for this one. The calamity counter along with jagged count because this uh, is not that one. But that gives us uh, weapon damage and uh, this one. Gives us 50% uh, critical hit chance, which is pretty nice. And uh, it also heals 20% uh, of its damage, if so. Uh, but yeah, I, I, don't, I haven't needed to try this to really find out how this works. However, uh, I did uh, a quick... Um, uh, toss together here what I would be running and uh, definitely these because yeah why not uh, that is uh, armor penetration that will uh, heal us a little bit that will help us to crit that's a 100% crit and it doesn't seem to be a cooldown on it the only thing that I need to try with this is um it does say that uh, your next attack within 5 seconds have a 100% critical hit chance. I wonder if that's... If I would use this, would that only affect the first hit or the entire skill? Because some people might say, for well, the first attack, that might be considered like one skill. Or uh, it's just the first, the very first hit. It does, spe does specifically say uh, hit your next attack, actually. So, yeah, not hit specifically. But that shouldn't be too hard to check. Just use that, and then that. And yeah. Okay, there you have it. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have this one entering onslaught stance, but uh, by hitting a charge heavy attack. Fair enough. Empower. I like that. And it also restores 10 stamina on hit. Uh, we're gonna go with full tree here. I think this tree is really nice. Because these ones down here makes it really, really nice. I mean, 50% heal is pretty good. And uh, this reduces the cooldown by 5%. Uh, 50%. And then we have this. And, um, well... This one is only really good if the skills are really good and the thing with this the, the one thing that i really love with this game and i don't i cannot see that right now i think unless i check the trading post but you can have perks that will affect usually each skill uh, one way or another i think there is one perk per skill or is it three perks per skill i cannot remember i think it is, it is at least one like, for example, I know, um, uh, which one is it? Is it Gravity Well on Axe that makes you heal 24% or something uh, of its weapon damage? It's kind of strong, and if you have a lot of enemies, you heal a lot. It was, it was something like that, it, and it's really strong. So, um, it's been some time, so I, I need to verify that. But that will also play a huge role in this. So, this setup is made by not knowing the perks. And, um, I cannot really see the perks. Right. Uh, skill builder. I don't think so. So yeah, uh, we will see what this one do, that one do, and that one do. Maybe this perk is amazing, but we'll, there's only one way to find out. I did say I would go for Roaring Rupture before the break. Uh, I did some uh, reading about it, and sure, this might be nice. But I think that I will not go for it. 
Because if you are if you are a DPS in a, in a group and you have a tank there, which you most likely will do, then uh, this will uh, generate threat. The last thing you want as a DPS is to generate threat. Uh, maybe if you get to swap the specific uh, gem into it to decrease threat, maybe. That's not really the case. So you will still generate 200 thread minus whatever you have uh, slotted. And you would not really slot a minus threat gem on a greatsword unless you would really, really have to. But even then, I would, not I would not really recommend it as a tank personally. I want my DPS to do as much damage as possible. Then it's up to me to hold aggro. Uh, and usually with this game, force taunting is uh, very decent. But it, it, it can be kind of easy to lose aggro as well. Like for example, an 8 second taunt with a 20 second cooldown. That means you have 12 seconds to maintain threat. And maintain aggro before you can use that comfortable thing again. Uh, but I believe you have other stuff here. Yeah, but that, that is not a, that's not a taunt. And that is not a taunt. However, Undying Defiance. This thing seems extremely OP. Now, I mean it. Extremely OP. It doesn't seem to have any restrictions or limitations. So that means 5% of the damage from attacks. That means every AoE. If you're fighting many mobs, that would be 5% of uh, the damage on every single mob, right? It doesn't have it doesn't seem to have a um, cooldown, and it doesn't seem to have um, like max targets. So um, in theory, what if I would use bleeds as well? I think this can be extremely strong, but I, I wouldn't know until I try it out. But yeah, th th that's about uh, it really. This one is not too bad. Uh, like I said, it really depends on uh, the skills. So I'm curious to see the perks. We might have some up right now, 